Hi dear friend, welcome back to my another video. A few months ago, I uploaded a video about how to use the TP-Link router as a Wi-Fi extender. But if you use your TP-Link router as a Wi-Fi extender, then there are some problems you might be facing. Like after a long hour exists, your router will be hang or it will be disconnected from Wi-Fi automatically. So to avoid this type of problem, you should extend your Wi-Fi router signal with a wired connection by TP-Link router. But if you have not any Wi-Fi cable and it's emergency for you to extend your Wi-Fi range, then you can watch my old video how to use TP-Link router as a Wi-Fi extender without any Ethernet cable. So today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your TP-Link router as a secondary router with a Ethernet cable on access point mode. It will provide you a separate signal with the same Wi-Fi speed as your main router speed. And also you will not facing any problem like extender mode of TP-Link router because the router won't be overstressed like as extender mode. Okay, so to learn this full process, keep watching this video till the end. And also subscribe our channel to get more this type of important video. So first of all you need to buy a Wi-Fi Ethernet cable. It can be CAT5 or CAT6 Ethernet cable. But one thing remember this cable length have to under 100 meter. Okay. Now first of all you need to set up your TP-Link router. This router setup may be similar as some router. So you can also set up any types of router which is similar to its settings. Okay now I'm gonna power on my TP-Link router. And if you have already used it then hold on your router reset button until this router LED light blinking. As you can see my router is reset. Now go to your phone screen and pull down notification bar and hold on Wi-Fi icon. Then you will get here your TP-Link router signal. You need to just connect it. In your router website, you will get your router default password or QR code to connect with this router. After connect it, here click on this arrow. Then here click on IP settings. Then select here static. After that, you will see here a gateway address. Here, just copy it. You can also find this address in the router backside. Okay, now close it and open Chrome browser. Here in the search bar, paste your copy address. Then you find here your router name. Click on it. Then you will get your router admin panel login page. Here, create a strong password for login to it. This password must be contained with two types of characters like letter mixed with number. Example, Akash2208. Okay, firstly, type here password and again confirm it. Then click on start. Then here click on next. After that here select access point mode and click on next. And now from here create a name for your Wi-Fi signal. And here create a password for your Wi-Fi. It should be 8 characters. Then here below click on next. Then click on LAN type and select static IP. Okay, now that's the important part of this video. Cause if you not change this router IP address, then maybe your ISP will block your router. If your ISP block your router, then you will not get Wi-Fi connection from this secondary router. So carefully follow my all steps. First of all, check your main router gateway or IP address. Then here in your secondary router, keep same IP address as your main router IP address. And just change the last part of this IP address. Like if your main router's IP address is 192.168.1.1 then keep your secondary IP address 192.168.1.2 You can replace two with any numbers. Don't change any other part of this IP address. Okay. Then here disable this DHCP server. Then click on next. After that here click on finish. Now wait until rebooting this router. Okay. Now it's time to insert your ethernet cable into your router. Hold with pressure your one side of cable clip and insert it into your main router's LAN port. Now go to your TP-Link secondary router. And here insert your ethernet cables another side into this router LAN port. Do not insert it in your one port. Cause if you insert it in your one port then your ISP detect it as a another router. But if you insert this cable in your LAN port then your ISP detect it as a another device like your phone, computer and another things. And another thing remember do not insert your cable before set up your router. Okay. So you have to follow all of my these steps to get connection without any problem. Okay, now connect your TP-Link router. As you can see, my Wi-Fi is connected. Let me check my network. If I go to YouTube, you can see I have same Wi-Fi speed as my main routers. So friend, if you think this video is helpful for you, please don't forget to subscribe our channel to get more this types of important video. And also hit the like button of this video. And if you have any queries, let me know in the comment. I will try my best to help you. Thanks for watching this video.